Committee reports. Senator Smith. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. On behalf of the Joint Standing Committee on the National Broadband Network, I present additional information received by the committee on its inquiry into the rollout of the National Broadband Network. Thank you, Senator Smith. Senator Urquhart. Uh, thank you, um, Mr Acting Deputy President. I rise to take note of the additional information provi provided by the NBN Co to the Joint Standing Committee on the National Broadband Network. The committee received the responses from NBN Co last Wednesday, the 24th of March. The due date set by the committee, which I remind the Senate is chaired by the government, was Friday, the 19th of January, two months late again. This was, wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't every single time. NBN Co, the Department of Communications and Minister Fifield seemed to be in absolutely no rush to answer questions about the NBN rollout. Questions that I might add are of vital importance to the proper functioning of this place. Questions relating to the disastrous HFC rollout, questions on faults, complaints and customer satisfaction. Questions on deployment, on minimal achievable speeds. The thing is, Prime Minister Turnbull thought he would switch on the HFC network like it was a toaster. Even after breaking his 2013 election promise, Mr Turnbull, the then Communication minister, uh, Communications Minister, promised to have 2.6 million homes on HFC by the end of 2016. He only got up to 160,000, 7 per cent of his target. HFC was meant to be the great saviour across many of our mainland cities. Instead, we then saw leaked reports that MBN Co would dump the Optus HFC network. We then heard of HFC cost blowouts. Of course, MBN denied these leaks. But then in September 2016, the now Prime Minister announced that the Optus HFC would be dumped and the cost of the remaining HFC network had blown out by $2 billion. The lack of transparency in relation to the NBN project on, dis on display by the non-answers provided by the NBN Co to the many, many of these questions and by the ridiculous delay in even responding is disappointing and reflects a paranoia that has gripped the Turnbull government. On 14 November 2017, the Senate voted to order a special hearing of the NBN committee. This vote in the Senate appears to have triggered panic within NBN Co, as they were sitting on further secrets about the HFC network not in the public domain. We have now learned only days later NBN Co executives ambushed public officials and Minister Fifield with news that it would halt the HFC rollout due to reliability problems. The HFC delay could cost taxpayers up to $500 billion, money that could have been spent delivering a better technology mix, pushing more fibre closer to people's homes and businesses. The constant delays in these responses to parliamentary scrutiny is nothing short of an attempt to reduce accountability. Minister Fifield, the Department of Communications and the Arts and MPN, MBN Co needs to lift their game. And so I seek leave to continue my remarks. Is leave granted? There will be no objection. Leave is granted. Senator Smith. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. I present Delegated Legislation Monitor No. 3 of 2018 of the Standing Committee on Regulations and Ordinances. Thank you, Senator Smith. Senator Urquhart. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. Uh, Acting Deputy President, um, I seek leave to uh, I present the sorry, I present on behalf of Senator Polly uh, the Scrutiny Digest 3 of 2018 of the Standing Committee for the Scrutiny of Bills. Thank you, Senator Urquhart. 